Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this look, I'm gonna be recreating Hung Van Gogh's gorgeous purple look on the beautiful Shanina Shake. This look was from last year, but I've had it saved in my gallery because I really wanted to recreate it. So if you wanna see how I've done it, just keep watching. Our first step with the eyes after priming your eyelids is to use the shade Royal from the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. I'm going to use a flat brush to apply it and I'm going to pop it on my lid from my lash line to the crease. Then I'm also going to drag it along my lower lash line. Your next step is to take the shade Amethyst from the same palette using a fluffy brush and we're just going to blend out that first shade. And the reason that we're using a matte purple shade as opposed to just blending out the first shade is because we don't want to drag the shimmer from that first shadow all the way up. We just kind of want to keep it a little bit more concentrated on the lid. We're going to keep layering the purple now. So I'm going to use a MAC pigment called Push the Edge and I'm going to wet my brush with Murad Hydrating Toner. The reason for that is I'm actually going to turn that pigment into a little bit more of a paste so it comes out a bit stronger on the lid and then using that flat brush we're just going to basically paint it on the lid from the lash line to the crease then again we're just going to blend it out and then keep blending and blending and blending until you get a really beautiful smoky eye. Once you've blended your shadows out to your liking, you can actually clean up the shape with a little bit of concealer and a beauty blender. I haven't, regrettably, I wish I did, but I thought the shape was fine as I was blending it. But yeah, you can always just clean it up with a little bit of concealer. Now for eyeliner, I'm going to use one from MAC called Feline. It is a cold pencil which makes it really soft and the colour is really nice and intense. And I'm going to pop it on the inner rim of my eye and that's just going to pull together the whole look. After filling in my brows with a little bit of brow powder, I'm going to use this old school technique with soap and a spoolie brush. So I'm going to take a clean mascara wand or a spoolie and I'm going to spritz it with some of the hydrating toner again. You can just use water if you like but the toner is what I had on me. So I'm going to spritz it with that and then I'm actually going to take that into the soap. So I'm going to drag it through the soap. Then I'm going to use that to brush my hairs up and across. My brow hairs I mean. And when you do that, it actually helps to keep your brows up and it also helps to separate them. So it makes them look really nice and fluffy. So we're gonna do that and that's gonna hold them in place and make them look really polished. Then I'm going to use Benefits Mascara They're Real on my lower lashes, but not on my upper lashes because I've got lash extensions. So here's the final look. In my version, you can see that I mixed a few different shades of purple together to get the right one. If you want to just use one color, then you can check out Hung Van Gogh's Instagram because he usually lists the products that he uses on his own page. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really enjoyed doing this look. I hope you did too. I will see you in my next video. Bye.